So some of these foreign workers have had a rude awakening. It's just after one in the morning and we've come onto this construction site. Officials have surrounded the premise to make sure nobody runs away. Uh, those who have, uh, who tried to run away, they have been handcuffed. Uh, but most of them, uh, they did come out quite willingly and they're now sitting single file. And what they're waiting to do is show their documentation. You've had these operations before. Uh, this is a large scale one. but. What, why do you keep having to do it? Of course, because we can't afford to have illegal workers in our country. They have to abide to our law and regulations. But is it a matter that before you didn't get rid of all of the illegal workers, or is it that they just so keep coming? We have coming? given them ample time for the employers to legalize their workers. Malaysia's government says they have to get rid of foreign workers, illegal foreign workers, because um, there is a concern that they're causing social problems. But the other aspect is they're worried that they're being abused and exploited. This is, I guess, their kitchen on this work site. If you just look here, um, some cooking oil, you have some dry chilies here. And earlier I saw a big rat that just scurried across. This is hardly a good living condition, but the money that foreign workers make in Malaysia is not enough for them to survive outside, and that's why many of them end up working and living here on the site. Just look at this place and imagine during the daytime when it's hot, it's humid on this construction site, it's very difficult to find Malaysians to want to do these types of jobs. And so foreigners will continue to come to Malaysia to work, and some of them will risk jail as well as caning to do so illegally.